Hey everyone, um, I forgot my iPad today, so I'm using my laptop. Um, so it might not be the best video, I apologize, but this is where we're at. We're figuring it out. So tonight, unfortunately, you guys will be stuck with my laptop camera. I'm sorry, but next week it should be better. And hopefully I don't run out of batteries. There's a chance I might also run out of batteries too, but... <laughs> We're figuring it out. Uh, we're gonna just be a couple more minutes because we're waiting for um, one of the students to come back with a mask and then we'll get started. So just hang tight. Whew. Okay, so you you think you lost all mobility and big yeah. nose? Oh uh, yeah. Wow. I, I can't, I know, I, I can't do, when you do, like fire hose? Yeah. Uh, I'm like sitting on the toes. Even like this, and then I have. Oh, it hurts? It hurts a lot. So, I think it will take a couple of years to get back. Mm -hmm. Is it like scar tissue? Uh, actually, because they twisted the tissue, the bone, uh -huh. when they operate, and then they. And then get me their metal plates and, and around here. So I don't know how they treat it. Hi. And it's very stiff now. Mm. And it hurts. We have masks. Oh. You do? Oh. Yeah. It's that they forget and sometimes it's. Um, I didn't know about if I could come in. So I was like, oh. Oh, I see what you're saying. Like, you can come in the front door. Yeah. Also, I told Amina, I forgot to write that we were supposed to do dinner today. So we oh. have to do it next Monday. And I wrote it already. Okay. Because if I don't write it down, my I was telling her my boyfriend's coming and I forgot to unlock the door for him. Oh my god. If I had locked it, it wouldn't have been a big deal. We could have yeah. gone, but okay. he's locked out. <laughs> so he needs someone to let him in. Alright. Y'all set? No. You look tired. <laughs> no, just not in like a not in like a I hate when people say that, right? Because I'm not saying <laughs> shallow than it is towards the end of our practice. 
maybe your heart's speeding fast, maybe you feel like you were rushing either all day or just in the last hour, or in Malika's case, in the last five minutes. <laughs> so just kind of let that go. Find a little bit of your stillness here. You've arrived on your mat, you've arrived to practice, and now you can take a breath. So drawing that breath in and exhaling it out, allowing your shoulders to roll back, creating more space between your shoulders and your ears, releasing the crown of the head up. Inhale and exhale it out. And a few more inhales here. Just finding some of that stillness. Exhale the breath out. Inhale. And exhale it out. Allowing your breath to find its natural rhythm. Then we bring our hands to Njali Mudra. Prayer position in front of the heart. Take a deep breath in. And exhale it out. Deep breath in, and exhale it out. Hands come down to the knees, eyes blink gently open, let's start moving. Inhale, those arms all the way up, gaze comes up. Don't worry about the hands meeting, it's early. Can either of you meet the hands without bending your elbows? Oh, okay. <laughs> exhale, arms down, gaze down. Inhale, arms up, gaze up. Exhale, arms down, gaze down. One more time, inhale those arms all the way up, gaze comes up. And then exhale, gaze down, arms down. If you're sitting on something, remove it. And then walk your right fingertips all the way out, left arm sweeps up and over side, then to the right. And walk your fingertips out to the left, right arm sweeps up and over side, bend to the left. You didn't have to, I just find it easier in my no. shoulder to do that sweep. <laughs> you can go right across. I just do the sweep because it helps my shoulder rotation. So you can try it. Actually, let's try the difference. Okay, so coming over to the right side, don't sweep your arm. Just reach it up and over. Good. And over to the left. Don't sweep the arm. Just come up and over. All right, now I find when I do that, I'm a little bit more closed. Now let's try the sweep. So you bring your right fingers out, sweep the arms forward, up and around. And it pulls the chest open a little bit more. It's at just least also for me. more relaxing on the whole. On the whole spine, yeah. Yeah. And over to the side. So kind of see what one feels good to you. Just make your choice there. The sweep, I just feel like, kind of just opens my chest a little bit more for me, but maybe not for you. And all the way back to center. Bring your feet into your Baddha Konasana. An early Baddha Konasana, so don't worry about the feet being super close in. It can be wider out. Bring your thumbs to the instep or the arch. What's the instep? Is that the instep? I feel like I might have just made that up. <laughs> Inhale, sit tall. Exhale, forward fold. Don't worry about getting too far down here. Lifting the chin, moving forward. Beautiful. And then sliding your feet out in front of you, flexing the toes back towards your face, maybe taking a minute to move any stuff, butt stuff, out of the way. <laughs> Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, forward fold, but don't go towards the toes. Just reach your hands where you can feel the stretch and then allow your hands to come down. Sitting nice and tall here, lifting the chin. And then reaching the hands all the way up. Same thing, so bring them down first, like as far forward as you can reach it, and then drop the hands. Good. Taking note of where you are, because we're gonna do this at the end, and I wanna see if there's a difference. Well, there will be a difference. I want you to see the difference. Inhale, reach your arms up. Last one, exhale, forward fold. Reach the arms forward, like you're in the presidential test. And then reach it from this one. Do you guys know what that is? <laughs> Did it, did he, you did either of you go to like elementary school in the United States? No. No. Oh, high school. We had this like <laughs> stupid thing in gym where they called it like the president's fitness exam. No, it was like dumb stuff that like actually wasn't relevant to fitness at all. Like one of them was like hanging 
there's like how to hang. I don't know until your arms snap. Like I don't know oh, what point that was. And but there was one. the president's fitness. fitness yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was weird. I guess it like started in like the 70s. I don't know. But like or the 80s maybe. Oh. We're gonna move on. But you're still getting it stretched by doing this. But I wanted to say there was one thing where you like put your feet in a box, and then there were numbers on the top. And I guess it was supposed to tell you your flexibility. So you went back. And then you went boom, and you hit the number thing, uh -huh. and then it was like supposed to tell you. So I always think of that when I do that because that's literally what you did. And like everyone would like try to get more like oomph to go further. Right, right, right. And then it was it wasn't like actually. <laughs> I don't know why they made us do this. I don't like I that it's called the president. Yeah, why? That's funny. I don't know. It's very comical. I don't know. <laughs> it is comical. <laughs> All right, loading down on your forearm. All I remember from it is that the fit, the like the flexibility thing because I never had flexibility. So maybe when Trump was saying like the the those words uh, that they told the, him to say in order or whatever car woman whatever. So <laughs> part of the president's maybe it was set. part of it. <laughs> <laughs> Reach your right leg up and lower up and lower up. And lower, bring your knee in, tap your, like try to tap your shoulder, your right shoulder. You're not, you might not actually tap it, I'm not even close, but the idea is to use your core to pull it in. Stretch the foot out, pull it in, stretch the foot out, pull it in, stretch the foot out, lower down. Left foot comes up and lower, left up and lower, left up and lower. Pull it in as if you're tapping the shoulder and out, pull it in, and out, pull it in, and out. Push yourself up onto your cans, and now turn your fingertips away from your body. Walk your fingertips out a little bit more. All right, now, test out where you need to be. So I can't get my arms back that far because I have really tight shoulders, but if you want to go out further, go out further. But be in a place that you can lift your chest up and lift your chin. So pop that chest out. And then come back to neutral and decide whether you were happy with where your arms were, if you want to move them closer out or closer in. And take an inhale, pop your chest one more time, lift your chest. And down. Walk your hands in a little bit closer, and this time step the soles of your feet down. Turn your fingertips this time towards your feet. And now lift the belly button up, lift the head back, chin up. I'm enjoying it here today. <laughs> and down, you like this one? I like it. Inhale, lift up. And down. All right, last time, this time when you lift up, all the way up, and now lean forward into your knees a little bit. It'll open up the shoulders a little bit more there. And booty down. Coming down onto your side. I'm going to do the left side first, so whatever side you like. Hands underneath your head. Now just follow my words because you guys can't see me. I mean, you can turn the other way. You guys can turn like sideways. I think there's enough room. Okay, ready? So right hand is in front of the belly a little bit just to anchor you. Reach the right leg up and lower. Reach up and lower. Up and lower. Now point that right toe, slide it up the leg, open and down. Slide it up the leg, open and down. Up the leg, open and down. Reverse. This time we go up, point the toe in, and then slide it down. Try to stay connected there. So lift up, point the toe in, touch the thigh, and then slide it down. So you're working the inner thighs here. Lift up, point the toe. Slide it all the way down. Step that right foot in front of you. And now lift the left so you can see the toes over the right knee. And down. Lift. And down. Lift. And down. One more thing we do. Actually, we do two more things. But this one, bend the knees together. So you're like at like a 90 degree angle. Your shin is in line with the wide legs of the mat. Lift that top knee up. And lower. Up and lower, up, and lower. It's crazy that that would like hit your butt so much, right? All right, straighten those legs out. Stay on that side. 
point the right toes in. Take your right hand, bring it to your right heel. Yeah, so just bring your hand to the heel. If you can't get the heel, grab the ankle, grab the shin, wherever you want to be. Lift the foot up and don't worry about straightening the leg, but pull it back. So wherever you are, bend the knee a little bit if you need to and work that leg back behind your head. That's where you're going. Good, and lower it all the way down. Flip over onto the other side. Do you find something funny? <laughs> what? Look at these colors. This, they, this was on purpose, the fight fashion No, that's what I was no. thinking. Oh, no. no. No, I don't know. I just saw it. I feel like socks these days do that. I just assumed that it was like the same <laughs> set. All right. <laughs> left hands in front. Left leg up. Down. Up. Down. Up. Down. Slide the toe in. Up. Down. Slide in. Up. Down. Slide in. Up. Down. Reverse. Up. Make that connection first and then zip it down. Really get the inner thigh. Yeah, there you go. Inhale, toe to touch, slide out. One more time, up, toe in, slide down. Take that left leg, step it in front of the right. Wow, I can't even like, <laughs> I'm like sliding right now. All right, uh, right leg up and down, right up and down, right up and down. Both legs together, bend the knees. Open up that top leg and lower. Open up the top leg and lower. Open up the top leg and lower. Straighten them both out. Bend the left leg in, left hand to left heel, and then start to straighten that leg. Good, bend if you have to, and work it back towards your head. And lower it all the way down, rolling onto your belly. Look at that, right into Sphinx. You guys might want to turn around. <laughs> You're pulling on them. <laughs> all right, not as smooth as I thought it was going to be. I thought it was just going to be, you know, a roll over. You guys pulled like the opposite direction. <laughs> out, elbows underneath the shoulders, coming into that early Sphinx here. So lift the chin. Lowering it down, slide the hands back towards the chest, touch your toes under, touch the tabletop. I'm getting hot, hold on. It's warm in here. Alright. Wrists are underneath the shoulders, knees are underneath the hips. You know what I did today? This is another sidebar. Do you ever shut the door on your fingers? Yes. But it's like so annoying because it doesn't even seem like the door is that far. Like, like the door was literally open that much and it just closed and it hurt so bad. Yeah, and and I was like, what really the heck? Like it wasn't even like, so like it slammed on my fingers. Yeah. It literally like, yeah. oh, okay. Anyway, I'm just thinking that because we're already black and blue. Oh. <laughs> Inhale, lift your chin up. Exhale, curl, push them out of the way. Inhale, look up. Now in this look up, I want you to pop up on your finger tail, finger, finger tail, fingertips and see if you can lift your chin a little bit higher here. See if you can feel the stretch in your abs a little bit more. And then plant the hands as you curl your chest, push the ground away. One more time, inhale, lift up, come up onto those fingertips, tuck your toes under if you can. If not, leave them down, doesn't make a difference. Well, it may, but it's not terrible if you can't do it. Lift up. And down. Plant the hands. Send the feet back towards the heels. Come back up onto your fingertips. And lower the chest in between the hands here. Moving the crown of the head forward. And then plant the hands. Lift the knees. Come into your down dog. Pedaling out your feet in down dog. It might be the first down dog in a while, in a few days in a week. So just kind of pedal out here, be gentle. All right, bring those feet together. Lift up on your tippy toes and hold for five, four, three, two, one. Plant those heels. Baby step your feet all the way to the top edge of the top. 
and just hang your foot. Hmm. Any movements that feel good. Grabbing opposite elbows and hang. And take your chin, curl yourself up bone by bone by bone. It's the last thing to come up. Once you're standing, grab your, your strap or your leggings, if that's what you have at home. Ooh, All right. Like <laughs> no, 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 you're fine. You weren't even close. You're good. All right, the camera's coming this way. So as long as you're like, even in the front of your mat, it's not in the frame, so you're okay. All right. Uh, shoulders distance apart, inside of the elbows are turning out. Take an inhale here, lift the arms all the way up, and then pull the chest through. So you're not worrying so much about moving the arms back, you're pulling the chest through. And lower it down. Inhale, arms come up, pull the chest through, and down. And one more time, arms come up, pull the chest through. And now come to neutral and move all the way over to the right side. Keep pulling the strap apart here. So pull those arms apart and back to center. Same to the left, pull the strap apart and back to center, arms come down. Move your arms a little bit wider than shoulder distance. Not too, too wide. Thank you, okay. <laughs> Inhale, reach the arms up. Now pull the strap apart here, bend the elbows so that you're at like you're through, you're pulling your elbows in and at the same time you're still pulling on that strap. Okay, now move your arms back, as back as you can. So the chest can come forward, you can move into a back bend a little bit here and then bend the arms in, straighten the arms back, bend the arms in, and straighten the arms back. And all the way forward. All right. Two more, three more, three more, three more things. All right, bring your arms as far as you need to now. Take an inhale, reach the arms up, and this time bring them in line with the shoulders. So lower back. You might have to have it, yeah. Go wide here, go wide. Because you want the arms to be straight. Hold here, slight bend in the knees. Lift the chin. And all the way up and around. Good. Two full rotations. So take an inhale, bringing your arms all the way up and then all the way down. All the way up, all the way down. And one more time. All the way up, all the way down. All the way up, all the way down. All right, now the next exercise, I have to be honest with you, I don't feel, but I've heard really good things about it for your rotator cuff. So it might actually be doing a lot of stuff for me and I just don't feel it, but it's supposed to be really good for rotator cuff, so we're gonna do it. All right, so I'm gonna turn behind you guys. So bringing both straps into one hand. Now if you have a pair of leggings at home, it's the same thing, just like have two sides on either side of your hand. Bring your hand above your head. Bring your right elbow out to the side. Take your left hand and grab the strap behind your back. Okay, now this right hand is moving up. This left hand is moving down. So you're pulling the strap apart. Move the right elbow forward and then down and back and follow it with your eyes once it comes back and then forward and open. Two more times, bring the elbow forward, back, forward and open. And one more time, forward and back, and forward and open. Switch sides, did anybody feel that? Yeah, good. What did you feel? It was like quite relaxing when it's just opening. Like really? Yeah. 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 I always wondered because yeah. I like it's like the feel same anything. feeling when we're doing like this and it's really so amazing. Yeah, yeah. Oh. it's just like localized on the shoulder. Wow. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Why don't I feel anything? I'm a little bit jealous now. Okay, everything in your left hand. And grabbing that strap in the right. Left hand pushes up, right arm pulls down. Bring the left elbow forward. Back and watch it. Bring it forward and open. Or, yeah, forward and back. And forward and open. Last one. Forward and back. Forward and open. Take the strap away. I think it's. Like, I can't believe it. I, I can't think feel it's anything. Doing the, the, the part when it's like this. Yeah, that's you, when you feel you it. it. Just slowly. And you just feel very relaxed. Huh. Okay. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed it too. I yeah. can't believe I feel like I'm like missing out on this stretch now. No, I think you're probably already. Oh, good. I and don't, don't need to. I just everyone like everyone gets stretches in different places, so it just might be that for whatever reason, maybe my rotator cuffs are open. But, right. Yeah. But at the same time, I get shoulder injuries all the time, so maybe I need to strengthen them. Okay. Inhale, arms down and up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway look up, bring your hands to your shins, pull your chest forward and your gaze forward, and then exhale forward, fellows look back to your, your leg. Step the right leg back, plant that right hand into the mat, lift the left arm up. Nice. Left hand comes back down to the mat, right knee taps and lifts, taps and lifts, taps and lifts. Inhale the arms up. Got to get the legs warm for today. Lower the right leg up and up, sorry. Down, lower down and up. Lower down and up. Lower down, stay down. Bring the hands to prayer. Twist towards the left. Tuck the right elbow to the outside of the left. Good. Push those hands together so you can get the chest open a little bit more. And then untwist. Okay, so we're gonna do something a little funky here. You ready? Now, if at any point this starts to be too much on your knee, flip your mat up and rest your knee on the inside of your mat. Okay, so right leg, right hand first. So left hand is gonna come onto the left foot. Bring your right hand back and bring that leg in. Now, if you can't reach it, grab your strap, grab your strap. And bring the leg in as much as you can. Now this is really intense and really deep to flip that grip. So grab your grab your strap and pull the foot in. Lower it down. Ooh, and bring your hands down. Walk your legs back. Flex that left foot. And come forward. And back. And forward. Alright, come forward. And now this time, bring that right foot in. Lift yourself up. Now this time, we're taking the opposite hand. So right hand to left thigh. Left arm comes back to the foot. Now, instead of pulling it in, send it back. So the balance, super hard. This is a hard one, guys. This is super hard. But it's going to open your shoulder and the thigh. <laughs> And lower it down. If you've been holding it, I'm going to give you another minute to work on it. But I have to get off my knee because this is no boy. I need to bring a thicker mat next time. Yeah, just work on it. All right, moving on. Take a child's pose. Come forward onto your belly. Bring those arms in front of you. All right, now, up on the thumbs. First finger, second finger, third finger, no, fourth finger, sorry. Fifth finger, back to the thumbs. Now keep yourself on your thumbs as you reach your right arm up and lower tap the thumb. Lift up, lower tap the thumb, lift up, tap the thumb. Left arm up. Tap the thumb, 
up, tap the thumb, up, tap the thumb. I feel like you're going to puke out. <laughs> Alright, next one. Keep your chest lifted, wiggle your fingers, and wiggle for five, four, three, two, one, rest. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to do that whole thing again. Oh. Back muscles, baby. Yeah. Um. Alright. And up on the thumbs. So thumbs, first finger, third finger. No, well, I like don't know how to count. Fourth finger, fifth finger. And on the thumbs. Reach the right arm up. This time bring it in. And forward. Tap the thumb. Lift up. Pull in, forward, tap, up, back, forward, tap. Left arm, in, forward, tap, up, in, forward, tap, up, in, forward, tap. Wheel your fingers for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Three and a half, <laughs> two, and <laughs> one. Oh my god. Oh my god. My lower body is very weak. And then bring your hands to your chest. And lift that to the best cobra you've ever done in your life. See? Back muscles, baby. I mean, I knew piano lessons would put you all too bad. And now lift that chin up. And lower it. Hug the toes under, send the feet back towards the heels, down dog. Pedaling out those feet and down dog. Lift your heels up and hold for five, four, three, two, one. Lower the heels down. Walk your feet all the way up to the top of the mat. Bend your knees, inhale the arms, come all the way around and up. Exhale hip right. Inhale arms around and up. Exhale forward fold all the way down. Inhale halfway lift, bring your hands to your shins. Pull the crown of the head forward, give yourself a flat back here. And then exhale forward fold, look back to your leg. Step the left leg back. Left hand plants, right arm opens up. Right hand down, tap the back leg. One, two, three. Lift it up, lift the arms up, come into your high lunge. Tap the back knee. One, two, and three. Stay down. Now grab something underneath your knee if you need to. Grab your strap if you need to. Lift the back knee up. Left hand, left foot first. Pull it in. Now if you want to flip your grip, that means that you bring your fingertips towards your toes. It's super deep, guys. It's really, really deep. So if that does not feel good, just work on holding the knee in. All right, switch. Actually bring the foot down, lean forward, walk it back, and forward, and back, and forward, and back. Bringing it forward, coming back up, opposite arm this time. So left hand comes to the right thigh. I forgot to do the twist, huh? What side did we do the twist on? We'll twist in a minute. Back foot comes up, and now instead of pulling that foot in, you're opening it up. You're bringing that back foot down towards the mat. Opening up the chest here. Pull, pull, pull. See if you can get your foot down to the mat. And release. Whew. Okay, bring that knee in a little bit closer. Inhale the arms up. Hands come to prayer. Twist. Hook the left elbow to the outside of the right thigh. Push those hands together, opening up the chest. And back to 
center. Tuck your back toes under. Bring your right leg back. Down dog. All right, reach that right leg up and high. Gaze comes to the left leg. Bend the left knee and straighten. Bend the left knee and straighten. Bend the left knee and straighten. Take your right foot. Step it in between your hands. Good. Bring that back foot in a little bit closer. Plant the heel. Back toes are towards the top corner of the mat. Inhale up to warrior one. Nice. Bend in that front leg. Gaze is forward. Re-catch your breath here. Bring your hands to opposite elbows. Pull the arms back, lift the chest up. And up to center. Peel the front toes up. And bring your arms forward, keeping those toes up. And lower, keeping the toes up. If you don't bring your hands down, that's fine. Just bring your hands to your thigh or your chest. And step the foot. Back foot comes up. Forward fold. Gotta get you guys warm. Yep. We gotta get warm tonight. For what we have in mind. Alright, curling all the way up. <sighs> Before we do the other side, bring your right leg up. Now hands can be at prayer or on your hips, wherever's more comfortable. And we're going to do circles out for three, two, and one. Sorry, I'm going slow. Opposite direction for three, two, and one. Bring it down. Left leg comes up. Circles out for three, two, one. And reverse direction for three, two, and one. Beautiful. Keep that left leg up as you step it all the way back. Hands come down. Right leg comes back, down dog. Pull left leg up and high. Bend the right leg and straighten. Bend the right leg and straighten. Bend the right leg and straighten. Bend the left leg, bring it in between the hands. I forgot what we did. Did we just lift to warrior one? Yeah. See, that's what I miss about in-person classes. You guys telling me when I have those blocks. All right, warrior one here. Catch your breath, find your breath. Hands come to the elbows. Maybe like flip the hands if you, if you can tell which side you did on top on the other side. Bring the arms back here, pop the chest open, lift the chin. Keep breathing, especially in your back bend. And then come forward, straighten that front leg, peel the toes up, find your balance first, and then bring your arms forward. And lower the arms when you can. Step that front foot down, back foot meets it, chair. And just stay here for the rest of the class. <laughs> a while. But try to like not hunch. I started to hunch, I noticed. It's nice to have the camera because you're like, oh, <laughs> look at how terrible I'm doing. Lift those toes up and lower. Lift your toes up and lower. Lift your toes up and lower. Stand up. Oh. Spread your feet wide. Inhale the arms up. Exhale, lower it down into garland pose. Lift the heels up. I mean, this might be hard for you. Do what you can, or just don't do it. Lower the heels. Lift the heels up. Lower the heels. Lift the heels up. Keep the heels up. See if you can lift up. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Reach the arms all the way up. Lower the heels down. Bring the feet back together. Chair pose. You guys hate me today? <laughs> Wait until you get into the pose though. Mm -hmm. Lift the heels up. 
Lower. Let the heels up. And lower. Let the heels up. And lower. Straighten up. Step your feet out. And lower back into your bum. Okay, now here, just kind of push out. We're going to rest here. So we're going to keep it kind of active just by using our elbows to open up the hips. So you can move side to side. You can do what feels good. All right, lower down onto your booty. Come back into your Vata Konasana. Hands come to the inside. Take an inhale. Actually, if you don't like that, like if you don't like bringing your thumbs to the inside, the other thing, because I like this one better, is to take like that. Like the little party hat. And then forward. I get a better grip doing it that way, but see what you like. Some people like to push down. They like It helps them to get deeper. I for It, it helps me to pull myself down. So it's just whatever is better. up here, bringing your legs out wide, adjusting your stance. Now you guys know I tend to like tilt back, so generally speaking I like to bring my hands behind me and push me forward, but that's just because of the way my pelvic, or what is this, what is this, is that your pelvic bone? Mm -hmm. The whole, yeah. Uh, so do whatever feels good to you, but we're going to inhale the arms up. Flex those feet first, and then bring your <coughs> hands down. Oh, <laughs> cool. Good, yeah. So hands down first. Good, reach the arms up. And now this time bring them forward, <coughs> and then lower them, lower them down. I'm pulling on the carpet. You guys don't have anything. And all the way in. Grab your arms underneath your knees. Bring them together. And back into your tabletop. Okay. Couple more things and then we get to the thing. And then we slow it down. Yeah? Yeah. All right. All right. Right toes come back. Make sure you don't hit anything. Left arm comes forward. Right foot lifts. Hold here. Inhale. Exhale, curl it in. Inhale, extend. Exhale, curl in. Inhale, extend. Exhale, curl in. Inhale, extend. Bring your hand down. Keep your left leg up. Bring it all the way over to the left and tap. Bring it all the way over to the right and tap. All the way over to the left. All the way over to the right. One more time. All the way over to the left. All the way over to the right. Now stay on the right. Lift the right up and down. Up and down. Up and in. Down and up. Down and up. Down and up. Circles forward for one, two, three. Do you guys hear that crack? And circles back for one, two, three. Take that right foot, step forward. Good. And breathe. Grab your box. And pull yourself there. I don't know if you guys can see me, that lighting is weird. But I have my right foot forward, and then the back foot is back. I'm going to switch mine so you guys can see better. Um, there. That's what I'm doing. All right, now here, you have the option, options only, to come down onto your hands. And then, well, you could probably do this, you're really good at this. Come down. Good. 
Good. Plant those hands again. And slide the right foot back. All right, left leg back, right arm forward. Lift it all up, inhale, exhale together, and back, out, I mean, and then in, <laughs> and out, and in. My cues aren't that great tonight, sorry guys. Right hand down, left leg all the way over to the right side and tap, and then all the way over to the left side and tap, all the way over to the right, all the way over to the left. Last time, all the way over to the right. And all the way over to the left. Now at that left side, lift the leg and lower. Lift the leg and lower. Lift the leg and then bend it. Look. And up. Mobility, baby. In <laughs> and up. In and up. Circles forward. One, two, three, and back for one, two, three. Take that left foot, step it forward. Grab your block, your box of pasta, your thickest book, whatever you have. Now if you'd like to, move the, the block away, coming down onto your hands, and down onto your forearms. Gaze is forward, try not to duck your head. Pull the gaze up. And walk the hands back in. And up, slide the left toes back. Come onto your tippy toes if you can, I mean you might have to put the sun on and sitting back on them, just taking our breath in our fire toes. Now I think we're actually warmed up because I normally can't get my <laughs> forearms down on that side, and I did, so, let me see. We'll just do our leaps, our fairy dog leaps, to start to get back in the habit of those, and then we'll do it. All right. <laughs> Don't come out of this. I know you hate it, you hate it. You're sweating? That's good though, because then you'll be nice and warm to do the thing. Okay, come forward. Just tap out the toes a little bit. Doing the opposite left. Take a moment to sit back in your reverse ankle flexibility. Because this is piece of cake, huh? Actually, you know what? I find that this is actually easier for a lot of women. It's always men that have a really hard time getting in this, and I wonder if it's because of heels. Because our foot is naturally used to like doing this weird dip mm -hmm. in heels. So it's easier for us to like have that forward flexibility. Because men are always like, <coughs> like with their boobies up because they can't lower it down. Yeah. <laughs> and like yeah. their foot is like, like an inch off the ground. Mm -hmm. All right, make sure you have your straps handy up at the top of the mat. Don't look at me like that. <laughs> I'm like scared. No, like, no, 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 no. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. It's stuff. That it's it's a pose that we've already done. But I just wanted to warm us up a little bit more, so there's a higher likelihood of us being more comfortable. All right, hands down. Tuck the toes under. Come into your down dog. All right, let's do the right side first. So bring your right leg all the way up and high. And then take that right leg and step it to the outside of your right hand. Beautiful. Now slide that back foot in a little bit closer just so it's easier for you. Take your strap and you're gonna grab it in your right hand and you're gonna loop it through and see if you can grab the strap in your left hand. Does that make sense? So your right arm is going underneath that right thigh but your left arm is going up by your lower back. Now keep your gaze down to the mat step your back foot forward. Now as you step that back foot forward, come up onto the tippy toes in the front foot. It is really difficult to keep that foot planted. That's hard. Bend that right knee, come onto the tippy toes. Now draw the belly button into the spine as you lift Ooh, your right leg. Sheesh, this is hard. Your right leg up. I haven't done this in a very long time. Okay, now 
option one. We're going to try it again, so don't worry if this is like not coming out good. This is your first try. Now once you're up, so you can straighten the leg. I can't do this strap, sorry guys, it's like hard for me to do this strap. Okay. Whew. And then straighten up. I gotta have high five with the And there we go. And down. Let's try it one more time on the right. Now that we know it's coming. Now, it's okay if this looks sloppy. We haven't done this in a really long time. It's okay if it didn't feel comfortable. We're just working on it. That was way harder for me than I thought it was. <laughs> I actually thought I was gonna like nail it. And I did not, okay? <laughs> right side one more time. Keep that strap close. Come into your down dog. Bring the right leg up and to the outside of the right hand. Oh wait, now if you're using the strap, now is the best play, time to get the strap because it's a little bit easier. You can walk that back foot in a little bit closer. If you're not going to use the strap, then just make that bind in your arm and then step your left foot forward. So left comes to meet the right, either with your bind in your hand or your bind with the strap. And then bring your right leg up as you stand. And maybe this is it today. Maybe you're just working on, man, finding that balance, because that might be where I'm at today. Sheesh. Yeah. Beautiful, Monson. Nice. That's good. Thanks for being do it one more time. Let's try it. One more time on the right. Sort of. I'm like really bent over. Alright, left side. <laughs> Two times on the left and then we're done. Then we're cooling down. Alright, okay, reach those arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Step the right leg back. Put the left leg back. Down dog. Left leg up and high. Bring that left leg to the outside of the left hand. I'm going to try to strap on this side because I have a really bad arm on this side. So, Left arm comes underneath the left thigh. Right arm reaches back behind you, reaching for the strap. Once you have the connection, step the right leg forward, coming up onto tippy toes on your left foot. Pull the left foot up as you stand. And straighten up. Now it looks like I'm actually sort of more balanced on this side, but it's also because my hands are like not even close to being connected. <laughs> Nice, Amina. And lower. Oh. Okay, you don't have to do the. You don't have to do it twice. I'm gonna do it one more time. If you're at home and you want to try it one more time, yeah. and then we we'll slow all the way down. You trying the left side again? Yeah. Oh. Jeez, guys. I honestly, okay, I feel bad because I really honestly thought that this was gonna be way easier. But, super cold out, but we were warm, we did good. Left leg all the way up and high. Set that left leg to the outside of the left hand. Pick your poison, whether you want to use your strap or whether you just want to try to make the bind. I'm going to use the strap, because I know I can't do the bind on this side. And right leg forward. Stand all the way up. Try to get yourself nice and tall. If you know that you're not going to be able to open the leg up, just work on straightening that right leg and being tall. And then maybe you surprise yourself when you do open it. That's right there. Just work on the balance. And then you got to try the hard stuff. Again, you guys had it easy last week. <laughs> And inhale the arms down. You guys did amazing. Clap. Take a moment to be proud. Practicing is hard sometimes. Inhale the arms up. And exhale all the way down. Inhale halfway look up. Exhale forward fold. Step the right leg back. Step the left leg back. Come into your down dog. 
Release the head here. Just let it go. Notice how this sound dog feels. Maybe it feels a little bit easier after you just did something super duper hard. Reach the right leg all the way up three points up. Bend the right knee, bring it back behind your right wrist, lowering down into your hand. <sighs> Inhale, sit tall, bring your hands to your hips here, lift yourself up. And then lower it down. See, that's what you guys tell me when you, when you don't tell me something you want to work on. <laughs> we do something hard. Oh, we forgot to do our down dog leaps. Oh, that's okay. We'll do them next week. And bring those hands. Slide your right foot back. Lift the left leg up and high. Bend the left leg, bring it back behind the left wrist, and lower it down. Bring your hands to your hips. Lift up here, and then lower it down. What should we do next week? Or try plant testing? If you guys don't respond, I'm gonna pick huh? something crazy. <laughs> Headstand. Headstand. I think tripod headstand. Yeah. That's the head one. That's the head one. Okay, let's do that. <laughs> All right, yeah. Mama, okay. you forgot. This is what you loved about this class. Was the hard I stuff. The <laughs> hard stuff. I we had just haven't done anything. <laughs> you guys decided. Yeah, no, that's what I'm really saying. We haven't done it. Anything for so long that uh, yeah. I'm still better than when I started, but definitely I yeah. see that I regress a little. Yeah, I don't think it's regressing. I think it's just muscle memory because you guys already look better than you did last week. Like you like hung in this class. This was mm -hmm. markedly more difficult than last week, and you guys did great. I wanted to kind of see where we stand. Yeah, yeah, I was like, all right, last week was easy. Like, what if I do like a hard like? Where is everybody gonna, mm -hmm. everybody gonna be if I like you know? But you guys did great. So we'll do some more in the middle next week. All right, sliding onto your left hip, bringing your feet forward. Doing some um, bridges just to counteract because our lower back took a little bit of a beating. So grab your, your block and pop it right underneath your tailbone. Now, if you don't actually have a block, you can just move through your regular bridge uh, sequences. We're just gonna be here for like five breaths. So if you want, you can keep your feet planted or you can actually walk the feet out so you're laying more on the block. And just take about five breaths here. So inhale, and exhale, let it go. Inhale, exhale, let it go. Inhale, and exhale. Two more. And last breath in. And out. Bring your hands down to your side. If you have your legs stretched out, bring them back close so you can push up and come off that block. Hug your knees into your chest and sway side to side. Bring your hands to your knees and then move your knees. You guys ready for this? We're going to see if you can follow. Move your knees in little circles going in. Yeah. No, I'll meet up. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and reverse the direction. Good. Pull over the soles of the feet. Just do some windshield wipers. If you feel like you want to get any like deeper twists in, go ahead and do your any twists that heal the you. And just for fun, we're going to do our shoulder stand. Just a little try. If you can't get it, you can't get it. Not a big deal. But shoulder stand. You do your little pop up. So I like to, and you can watch once as I go through it because it's hard for me to like. Yeah. So you can bring your knees into your chest. And then I 
tend to take that power, I bring my knees in, and then I shoot my legs up. So I go in and then up, bringing your hands to your lower back, walking those elbows in a little bit closer, pull the toes up towards the ceiling. Yeah, Monica, nice. Reach the toes up. See if you can move your belly button like forward towards your face. Kind of more to straighten. Beautiful. And then lower it all the way down. Just coming down however you want to come down. Nice. Bringing your legs out along the mat. Nice. Give it a little shake. If there was any final pose that you wanted to take for yourself before you move into Savasana. Okay, so really quick while you guys are breathing. Once I hit the lights, it's going to be very hard for the people at home to see because it's so dark in here and Facebook might turn it off, but we're just doing Savasana and then finishing. So if it does cut off, thank you so much for joining us this evening. Alright, now you guys on the mat, take a deep breath in. Let that breath go. Deep breath in. And let the breath go. Taking any like final movements in your wrists and your ankles that might help you to settle. Take an inhale through your nose and then sigh it out. Exhale out through your mouth. Just get comfortable and don't take them down. Do that one more time. Deep inhale in. And exhale, let it go. Let your body become heavy on the mat. Let your breath find a rhythm of its own that allows you to get deeper into your relaxation. Taking these last few moments for yourself to find peace. Giving yourself a little bit of a hug here before I'm willing to move on to your favorite side, whatever side that might be. And using the bicep, triceps, the upper arm of that side, the toes of your head. So when you feel ready, you can push that off to the knee and that comes into a seated position and crossing that. Bringing your hands down onto your knees, palms facing up. Taking an inhale here. Exhale, let it go. Inhale into your nose. And exhale, let it go. Bring your hands to the jaw and use your curved twist in the center of the heart. And as always, 
taking that vow first to yourself in gratitude for what your body can do, in gratitude for showing up and for trying challenging things, giving a moment of appreciation for your perseverance, and then taking a moment of deep gratitude for all the yogis that have come before. I was taking a moment to remember the roots of yoga when it has come from me, those we have to thank for bringing us to practice. The light within me bows to divine light. Each one of you, thank you so much for making Mondays the best ever. Namaste. Yay! And you guys didn't get cut out on the computer. Mm -hmm. I'm going to turn this lights on so flap your eyes. Thank you guys so much, and I'm working on it. I will bring my iPod, so hopefully the picture will be better, and the the iPad also has my microphone, so hopefully the sounds a little bit better. But mwah, I'll see you guys next week. Bye.